and welcome back to What Time, the channel with a focus on the NVIDIA Shield. Many Shield users, and indeed Android TV uh, box users, like to use an alternative launcher, and they like to customise them. So today we're going to be having a look at how you can produce a very special background to use on your launcher. We shall be using GIMP, the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Free download, link in the description. In this tutorial we're going to go through three steps of producing uh, the background that you see there, my cute dog. It entails making the black background with the orange gradient filled halo, the dog itself cut out from a photo, and the text effect that we made there with the sunrisey type effect. So let's get stuck into it. What time? So the first thing we're going to do is the background. Let's go to File, New, and we're going to select a size 1920 by 1080. That's going to be the size, standard size for the shield background. And we'll, we're going to select background color which is as you can see over the right hand side there the one in the background there is the black so we're going to have that as a black background okay we're just going to do make the background here so we're going to to create the halo effect we're going to select an orangey color and go up to around up to around there you can also select it by clicking on this this bit here and moving this around get it to the right point where you want it and then that will as you see that's the current pick current color just move that dot around drag it around to the strongest point and that's a that nice full orange color okay so we've got the two colors we've got the orange on top and we're going to create the halo background with this tool which is next to the bucket fill tool the gradient tool it's there on my layout but if I change the layout very briefly you'll see it's still next to the bucket tool bucket fill tool there let's put my layout back as it was so we click on that and we go to tool options we're going to select um, foreground to background RGB okay so we've got and the shape we don't want linear we want a radial okay so let's come across to our canvas and we're going to go more or less in the middle and go off a little bit and then we're going to click and hold the mouse and drag it to a position up around there that might be a bit too big so we can just bring the cursor over to the bottom circle bottom cross there the circle appears if we just click and make that a bit smaller there okay once we're happy with that we click on the X there and we're going to click on the grab tool again okay that's our background ready to go the next thing we're going to do is going to create another new image because that's the size we selected before it comes out the same same size and this time we're going to go for transparency and okay now here is where we're going to play with the text so we're going to select the text tool um, I'm using a font called luckiest guy that's available on 1001 freefonts.com 1001freefonts.com and I'm going to make it around this size 194 so we're going to click on the canvas around about there and the text that we're going to use sorry we're going to use we come down to here in the tool options we're going to select white text which will be actually be FF 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 6 F's and accept that'll be pure white so we're going to select where our text goes and we're going to I'm going to type in my cute dog and as you can hear my cute dog is barking outside 
Okay. Selecting the grab tool again, we can just move that across a bit. That's fine. Now what we're going to do with this is just to prepare it for the later for a later stage. And we're going to click on the layer section and there's my cute dog and right click with right click on there and select alpha to selection. We then come down to the bottom left there, this little icon which is a plus sign, and it's going to create a new layer and we OK that. Now this layer goes on top and we're going to just select and grow it to put an outline on it. We're going to select 8 and OK that. We're going to turn these, we're going to select the black color, so flip them around, get the bucket fill, that's the bucket fill tool, and click on that to fill. Now, here over here again we're going to take that middle layer, my cute dog, that's the text layer, the first one we did, and we're going to drag it up until we get that light white line up here and drop it there. So it's now above the black layer that we created. And on that layer we right click and merge down and then right click and merge down again. Good. Now on the keyboard we'll go holding control down we'll go control D to duplicate it. As you can see we've got two versions of that. Okay, so we move over to the second copy that we made of it, the duplicate, and on this section we're going to go to the layers, right click on the layer, alpha to selection, and this time we're going to use the gradient tool, select the tool options, we're going to select the incandescent tool option, it's about halfway down there as you can see the incandescent tool option and that's okay and we're going to select linear this time not now here let's zoom in by hitting holding control down and scrolling in we're going to go to about there now we click the left mouse button and hold it down and drag it up to about the top there. Okay. Now you can alter the way it, the color distribution here by either getting to the bottom node of that and bringing it down. I'm going to leave it just there at the moment, just below there. And then you can change the colors within that. So you can get these nodes here on the line and bring it down to about there for example bring this one down if you want to create another node you can just click on there and stretch that up like that i'm happy with that let's close it off and clicking on the clicking on the grab tool again we're going to that's done so now we've got our outline for that now with this go back to the first one and here what we're going to do is go to to take out that white and just leave the outline so colors color to alpha if for any reason you don't have that color to alpha and it's grayed out you can go over to the image on the layers and right click and add alpha channel okay add alpha channel so we've already got the alpha channel so we come in color to alpha click on that white is the default color it's already taken out the white there we say okay to that and we're going to now just scroll back out of there so you show you what we're doing and we're going to copy that and paste it onto the original one so to copy that it's Control C, that's copied it. Let's go to the original one and let's just zoom back a bit. And Control V to paste it on top. Boom. 
should paste it exactly on top. If you do need to move it, you can grab somewhere on where that black outline is. As you can see, you've got double ants lines there, and you can move it. Oops, we we still got the control, the color to alpha tool there active. So cancel that. We go over to the grab tool, and if you wanted to move this this pasted layer, you can get in between the ants lines and move it. Okay, we don't want it there. It was in the right place. And to undo that move, undo anything in GIMP is Control Z or Control Z if you're from over on the other side of the pond. Okay, Z's dead. What film is that from? Okay, now we've got the grab tool. Just click off the image and click something like this tool up the top here and click off the image and that will anchor it down okay so control z bring it out again we've got our text ready the next thing to do is to get our doggy ready let's duplicate that to work on the duplicate and we're going to use this lasso tool here the third tool from the left and in tool options we're going to make sure we've got feather and about 30, I'm going to do about 20, uh, 30 will be fine, 33, that's no problem, 33. And we're going to zoom in up to his top of the, we only want the dog here. We're going to cut out the dog with a little bit of a fuzzy outline. And in the dog, I'm using the scroll button to go up and down there. And then I'm going to put a V neck on him more or less around there. And all around so if we control and scroll in because we've got a bit of feather it doesn't matter too we don't have to be too exact but we'll keep it more or less on the line where the fur starts it doesn't matter about that and we can go along there all the way up um, the shift key and the scroll button will move it left or right okay take the finger off the control button keep going I'll probably just fast forward this bit so you don't have to sit through me picking out all the spots though it will only take a minute or so and furry lines furry friend And then when we get to our st near to our starting point, let's go control and zoom in. And we find our starting point, which was when we found the starting point, when you go over it, the yellow of the starting point comes out. Click on there and we've completed our selection. OK, so we're going to now control C to copy the selection. Let's control and zoom back out. OK. Control C to collect to copy that selection and then Control Shift and V all together to paste it separately. We've now got our doggy cut out. He's going to go on to our background in a moment. We'll come back to him. Now we're going to just put a bit of an outline on him with black outline because it's um, got a feathered edge with won't be a solid black outline so we're going to go right click alpha to selection we're going to create another layer as we did before and we're going to go okay to that we're going to come up to select and grow and this time we're actually going to grow it by about uh, 15 okay 15 will be the grow size and we're going to select the bucket tool with black and fill that again as we did before we're going to take the pasted layer and push that up and right click on the yeah. top layer to merge it down that's my furry friend barking away here and if that's not big enough in the first time you could have selected more to get a more pronounced outline on him and then we're going to 
click off that, uh, sorry, click on the select tool and click off that. Click on that tool just to click off. And then we have the final image. Right, so now we're going to control C to copy that. Let's go to our background. Let's do a duplicate of that. Control D. And we'll work on the duplicate. And we're going to paste our copied image. And that is a bit too small. So we're going to go to layer, scale layer. We're going to select percentage wise. And this tool here means it's going to be whatever we select will be reflected at either width or height. We're going to make it 120% and just clicking on there will automatically put that in. You don't need to click in there, but scale. Okay, that looks good. And now we're going to click on there and move him up to the top. He's got a little bit of an outline to him. That's all right. That's cool. And we'll click off that image to paste to anchor him down. The next thing is we're going to go to our text layer and we can do something here just by going to image and we're going to cropped content just to bring it down to a smaller size and we're going to go control c again our copy and to our image there we're going to paste that okay if we decide that that's actually going to be a little bit uh, a little bit too big we might just want to make that a bit smaller by going to layer scale and we're going to just type in 90 as we said we scale it will that will automatically go there as well when we scale it and that's done we're going to right click on there anchor layer and then we okay so we're now going to export the image and we're going to go control shift e to export this is the folder we're going to put it in 51 and we're going to call it cute dog dot bg for background and export i've already done this before so i'm going to be overwriting and there we go and that's our final image hope that helps over in our facebook group uh, nvidia shield noob cyblo channel launcher to dump there's a thriving group of creators producing all kinds of profiles layouts tiles and icons for their launchers why not come and join them link in the description like the video give us a thumbs up if you didn't give us thumbs down why not and tell us why in the comments down below consider subscribing to the channel and we'll catch you when you catch us in the next one turtle pip